Well, for me, sustainability is, is really a process. It's about the process of looking at your environmental, social, and economic impacts. Let's create processes which help us account for all of these things in our decision making. There are a number of ways to define sustainability. One way to do it is to consider that we should be able to ensure that we use our resources and live in such a way that future generations will still be able to enjoy those same resources. Another way to define sustainability is to consider a triangle that involves three apices. For our world to develop sustainably, we have to take all three of those into account. I think the University of Texas, unfortunately, in my opinion, is not very sustainable. Uh, our buildings, the way we currently build our buildings, uh, have not looked at energy efficiency or solar or any other issues, water conservation issue, to the degree that I would like them. Is it using more energy than it should that's polluting the atmosphere? It's using more water than it could? That's uh, depending on food that's not sustainably grown. UT has many scattered sustainability initiatives, but what it lacks is a unified mission. And I think it's imperative that UT make sustainability a campus-wide priority. Architecture students are participating in the Solar Decathlon where students and faculty design and construct a market-ready dwelling run completely from solar power. The engineers for a sustainable world and energy task force have been working on getting solar panels installed to heat swimming pools at UT. I'm really excited to see that the students are, are taking a, a leadership role in that effort. We see the roofs of many academic buildings. Is there something very noticeable about all of them? Well, to me, what's very noticeable is that they're almost entirely all above the tree line. They all have flat or inclined surfaces with nothing on them. And to me, I just see a, a sea of area that's just ripe for solar panels. And so as we look around today, we might say this is an ideal setting for uh, solar energy on a campus like this. I think that solar panels on campus, on all the roofs, on the buildings, would be an excellent addition to our campus. It would be something to make students really even more proud than the orange tiles that are already up there because we would know that UT is actually being a part of the solution to global warming. Doing solar panels on campus would be an awesome idea because um, students um, at this university need to be more environmentally aware about what's going on and by having those kinds of things, I think dialogue could be created. I think solar panels on the roofs of campus buildings would be an optimal utilization of, of the sun, which is one of the greatest resources that we have, so I'm definitely for it. Having a better environment is much better than saving a few pennies. One of the most common solar panels used is the photovoltaic. They are made of many silicon semiconductors, and when the light hits the semiconductors, its energy is absorbed and turned into a current via electrons. The production of energy using renewable sources emits no greenhouse gases. Economics is upside down. If you think about how much you depend on air and could do without it, we spend the least on air quality. That technology is getting more efficient and therefore more uh, inexpensive for the amount of power and the length of time that it will continue operating. A 12 square foot module can produce 200 watts of power at peak load. The amount of peak load time on average in Austin is 4.4 hours per day. That's 880 watts per day per module. If UT put up 2,500 modules covering 30,000 square feet of roof space, we could produce 220 kilowatts of emissions free power per day. That's 80,300 kilowatts per year. But what about the cost? Um, solar panels could be slightly cost prohibitive, but there are many, many options in terms of grants from national organizations, in terms of the option of student fees if interested students want to get behind the project. And also solar panels can eventually pay for themselves because if you produce excess energy, the money comes back to the university. There's enough solar energy falling on Texas in 90 minutes that we can convert to energy that would be adequate to power the needs of the planet. I think that we have a responsibility to be at the cutting edge of science and technology 
And I think this area of green building, energy efficiency, and renewables is future. You might be surprised to find out that the U.S. has 5% of the world's population, but consumes 25% of the resources. Greenhouse gas emissions affect people on a global scale, and by investing in renewable energy, UT can help promote the safety of communities who contribute very little to climate change, but must suffer the most consequences. The University of Texas should continue the tradition of leading Texas, the U.S., and the world by investing in renewable energy technologies alongside maximizing conservation measures. Solar energy in particular offers a unique opportunity to utilize existing space, help promote sustainability at UT, and help reduce global carbon emissions. We must all do our part to protect the planet we share.